In the example here, we have a website that sells videos. You go to this site, you type in your credit card information, and it gives you access to view a part of the website where the video can be played. After you purchase the video, you get a link to watch the video. If we cursor over the link, we see that the actual link to the video has a get form parameter on it. Film equals some number. Essentially, that is telling the end user to go to this website and view this film number. When we click on the link, it shows the film in a small window. It looks like the application developer turned off the status bar, the icon bar, and the URL bar, resulting in a pop-up window with the video itself. That way, the end user does not see what website they are viewing. But when we cursored over the Watch Video link, we were able to see it was a get parameter. So we open up a new browser window and type in a different number. In the example here, we typed in a different number and we are getting a different video. The vulnerability here is that the application developer forgot to put in an access control based on the video the user purchased. Even though the user may have purchased one video, the server did not lock down which video the user can see. Therefore, the user can see any video as long as they can guess which film number it is. They just keep typing in new film numbers. The easiest way to stop this from happening is to keep track of which film number the user bought. In this example, the end user was able to watch a video they did not pay for just by typing a different film number at the end of the URL. The fix for this is to put in some type of access control check to make sure the user only sees the video they bought. This is a very common vulnerability.